What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday and we're going to do another comparison rip. Friday we did a Panini uh, Chronicles Baseball Retail uh, comparison rip. We did a Mega a Blaster and a Cello, well fat pack. And today we're going to stay in Panini. We're going to stay non-licensed, but we're going to do a mosaic rip. I know. This is going to be a big one. We got a Mega Box we picked up from Target. We I a blaster box from Target as well, a hanger box, and a cello pack. We are going to rip open all of this and we're gonna see just exactly if you should bother with it or if you should just leave it on the shelf. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday, and we are gonna rip open the entire retail lineup of Panini's Mosaic brand. We have a Mega Box, a Blaster Box, a Cello, and a Hanger Box. And we are gonna rip all of these here in just a moment. We're gonna see, is this non-licensed product even worth your hard-earned George Washington's? Hell, is it worth your Benjamin's? I don't know, we're gonna find out. But before we do that, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the, well, while you're at it, well, <laughs> yeah, and leave a comment. Um, I know we just did the Chronicles rip, and I, I'm a fan of Chronicles. I have not ripped Mosaic since uh, basketball last year, so it's been a long minute. So will this be any different? I know Mosaic was in Chronicles um, with, um, with uh, baseball last year, but now it's a standalone product. But before we even rip this open, just a heads up, last week on the Chronicles Hobby Box rip, not the mega and all that retail rip, the Hobby Box, I'm giving away one of these autographs. Giving away a Mookie Wilson, a Tino Martinez, or a Jay Buhner. These were all in-person autographs. And if you go to last Friday's video, again, I'll, I'll leave a little link right over here. Um, if you go there, you'll, you have to be a subscriber, like the video, and just uh, do what I asked. And you can pick, I'm gonna do it on uh, Friday. We're gonna announce the winner of that uh, autograph. And these are from my personal collection, so they're not in the greatest shape, but they were in person and they're legit. They're vet, they're auth authenticated by me. Yeah, anyway, are you ready? Good, cause we got a lot of rip. It's gonna be a heavy overhead camera episode, just a heads up. So we are gonna start with the cello pack. We picked this up, God, why do I keep on saying we? I picked this up at Walmart. I want to say it was um, $12.97 or so, $12.97 for the pack. Uh, so yeah, for $12.97, we have 15 total cards in here, 12 packs, uh, 12 cards per pack, plus a three pack bonus pack. The only sellers I've ever read for Mosaic were basketball and football, so this will be a first for baseball. Are you ready? Good. Ribbon packs, three, two, one. Let's compare the crap out of Mosaic baseball. Let's go. Here we go. Shohei is gonna be the cover guy on all of this. So here is the 12 card pack, and then here is the blue bonus pack. Ready? Let's go over the packs. All right, we're well, first pack, we're gonna, we're just gonna go hits, hits to the camera. There's gonna be a lot of hits, hopefully. There's gonna be a lot of base as well. So it is what it is. We have Anthony Rendon for the Angels. Ramon Laureano for the Oakland A's, Kevin Biggio for the Toronto Blue Jays, Trevor Larnick, a rookie hit for the Twins. Look at that crisp white jersey right there. Wow. Rookie card. Um, he'll be a serviceable major league run. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean as in he's going to be a, you know, a 280 to 300 hitter. He's going to be a lot like Max Kepler, you know, who they'll probably end up trading because of playing time for him, but he's going to be a decent one. Uh, Dean Kramer, a rookie pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles there. Uh, so yeah, good old Dean Kramer right there. And we do have a nice Shohei will to win with the uh, Mosaic. That's a nice little hit right there. The Mosaic uh, prism that they do. I believe that's the Mosaic. It should be, at least it used to be. So yeah, Mosaic, that's a hit. And then we do have Tyler Stevens for the uh, Cincinnati Reds. I want to say he finished with the silver, that's nice. Uh, fourth or fifth in the uh, Rookie of the Year voting last year. So yeah, that's that's actually a nice little rookie card there. Then we have Cedric Mullins with the Mosaic for the Orioles. He, 
Yes, uh, Trey, Trey Mancini won Comeback Player of the Year, but Cedric Mullins definitely, um, I think he did get some votes because he kind of, he didn't come out of nowhere, but he definitely, pro he definitely proved why he should have been in the bigs. He had a 30-30 season, was solid. Going into the, uh, well, the insert pile. Jacob DeGrom there with the green mosaic for the Mets. I throw uh, DeGrom in the hits. Let's see if he comes back healthy. Um, the Mets need him, I'll tell you that much. And the Mets have made some good moves lately. Uh, getting Sterling Marte is definitely gonna shore their outfield and he's a solid, solid hitter. Uh, good old DeGrom there and then we have, oh, is that a auto? Oh, it's not, but it's aces of uh, Fergie Jenkins. It was backwards there. I'll put below, obviously, what the deal is with this, but Ferguson Jenkins, Hall of Famer. It's funny, he's listed as Texas, but the Cubs were definitely the team that I remember him being solid for, but Ferguson Jenkins for the Rangers, aces. And then we have a Matt Olson here, backwards card, and a Shane Bieber with another aces. So we'll look at these in a second here. Here's the Bieber aces. Again, I'll put below exactly what the deal is with these. I'm gonna go into the inserts because Shane Bieber doesn't have a lot of hobby love. And uh, Matt Olson with Big Fly. Now the question is, how long is he gonna maintain uh, being a member of the Oakland A's? Because he's a pretty hot commodity right now. And Oakland's definitely gonna be um, moving, some, uh, moving some pieces this year, if you know what I mean. But Olson with the Big Fly with the insert. And that Fergie, which is pretty cool. Again, I'll put below exactly what it was. It was backwards for some reason, so yeah. So let's go to our bonus pack right here. Bonus pack, three cards. I assume red, white, and blue, but you never know with Panini. It could be pink. Let's go with the packs. Yeah. They're pink. We got Trent Grisham for the Padres with the pink parallel going into the inserts and parallel pile. Alex Bregman going into the hits because, well, I like Alex Bregman before he cheated. And, well, yeah, they still put him in there because I think he's a great ball player. And then, uh, well, <laughs> the Mariner rookie I don't care for at all. Evan White. Guy can't hit his weight, and he'll probably end up on a new team. Um, they signed him to a long-term deal uh, before the season last year. Um, I mean, the season before. Um, and guy just can't hit. Great glove, can't hit. Going in the rookie pile. All right, let's go to our hanger box. Picked this up at Walmart as well. I want to say twenty-two forty-eight for this. Twenty cards, four hanger box exclusive mosaic reactive orange parallels. We are getting one rookie variation and one silver and mosaic parallel, evidently. All right, let's go, ribbon packs, comparison, hanger box, let's go. All right, now I've actually had good luck with the mosaic hangers. Will I have good luck on this one? We'll find out. Okay, Jesus Lazardo, who is no longer with the A's, now with Miami, he's our front of the pack guy, guy. So Jesus Lazardo going into the commons. Evan Longoria going into the commons. Trey Mancini, comeback player of the year, going into, well, the commons. Junior going into the PC power. First PC hit of the day. Uh, awesome, I love Junior. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, come on, my, anybody my age loves Junior, I'm put it that way. Uh, Pete Alonzo going into the hits. I'm not going to show you because I have a lot of cards to pull. Uh, Shogo Akiyama going into the commons. Alex Kirloff, rookie card for the Twins. He's a good one. He'll, he's coming back. He'll, he ended the year on the DL. He'll come back healthy and he'll be a good... Twins are going to suck, but they're going to have some good young talent. He's one of the reasons why. And I don't know if any of these are rookie image variations. I'll put below when they are. Edward Olivares for Kansas City. Uh, for the Royals, rookie card. And then Jesus Sanchez, silver. I like Jesus a lot. Uh, I think he's gonna be a solid masher for the uh, for the Marlins. Um, he's just got some pop, big old left-handed pop. Question is, how long will he stay there? Because that's just what the Marlins do. And then flipping around, we have Ha Song Kim with the mosaic uh, prism right there for the Padres, rookie card. And then a green. Nice, that's not a bad one to pull. Juan Soto is our green parallel going into the hits because he's Juan Soto. He's good, right? I know. Orange, we have uh, Kohei Aihara for the Rangers, rookie card, a 30-year-old uh, pitcher from Japan, uh, really lighting up the, uh, the hobby on fire, those 30-year-olds from Japan, yeah. Sixto Sanchez, 
I like Sixto. I think he's going to come back and have a solid season. Dude's only like 22 years old, so and he's a big, burly pitcher. So just wait. Just don't give up on this dude just yet. Trust me. Sixto, Bobby Dahlbeck going into the PC pile. Bobby Dinger's right there for the Red Sox. It doesn't say Red Sox. It says Boston. But that's the whole thing with non-licensed baseball. They can't say Red Sox. I can. They can't. Bobby Dahlbeck going into the PC. And Jose Altuve. That's actually a nice color match for a player I could give two rat's asses about. Jose Altuve. Then we have Cabrian with the debuts. That's a nice little card right there. Nice. Uh, do not know if that is a uh, parallel at all, but I'll check in a second here. That's, that's a pretty solid card right there. Do not know, but it goes into the rookie either way. We have Max Scherzer with the Nationals. Now with the Dodgers. Well, actually, now with who? Because he's a free agent. Will he end up with the Mets? I'm hearing the Mets have made an offer on him. So I throw him in the hits because he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Max Scherzer. Then we have Casey Mize with the debut with the Mosaic. I think Casey's going to be a solid pitcher too. Uh, him and Verlander had a lot of, had the same stats in their rookie season. And look at Verlander. He's going to end up in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Casey Mize is going to be the ace for the Tigers. And he's good. We have Roger the Rocket going into the PC. You know why? Because it says Boston right there. Yeah, so these aces, obviously, this is a pretty standard uh, standard uh, set right here. Roger Clemens for the uh, PC power, then for the Red Sox. And Jesus Sanchez, another one. Um, I guess this is the variation because it says RV65. So rookie variation, Jesus Sanchez, which is funny. This looks a lot like... It looks... Okay, this is very weird. It looks a lot. It's the same damn... They just... He's moving his... Uh, his kick on his leg a little bit. So it's see, yeah, and this is the back. So obviously they're telling you which one's rookie variation and which one is not. Again, he's not the best rookie, but this is a guy who I think will pan out within about a year or two. So there we go. There is our hanger box. Now it's time for the blaster box. 32 cards in here, one silver mosaic parallel in here. We have four packs, seven cards, plus I believe we have a bonus, uh, two, mo uh, two mosaic green parallels in here. And I think we get the bonus pack. We do have one bonus card pack. So I get one card or four cards. I don't know, either way, this was $30 at target.com. And um, you should find this in the stores. Now I know Wal Wal uh, Walmart is selling this for $34.99. For $30, we'll see if it's any good. For $34.99, I am very highly suspect. Mega, if you're gonna spend that money, you're better off just doing that to get the autograph. All right, ripping, bo uh, ripping backs, uh, blaster box mosaic comparison rip. Let's go. So yeah, 32 cards per box is evidently what it's telling me right there. Okay. And we do got our bonus pack. Feels like it's four cards, I don't know. And this is what you see inside of here. Seven packs right there. And the bonus pack, which will open at the end. There you go, seven packs right there. All right, let's just uh, make uh, a little bit of room here before I continue, because I'm gonna do the comparison rip here. I gotta give myself some real estate to use. When this is gonna get messy otherwise. All right, here we go. Pack number one of the Mosaic Blaster Box. Ripping packs. Let's go. All right, Eduardo Rodriguez going into the PC, but not for long because he just signed with the Tigers. We have all-time greats with Willie McCovey for the Giants going into the inserts, but putting him in the old man pile because I'm not going to have room for that right now. Willie McCovey. Kyle Lewis going into the PC with the Mosaic launched. I pulled an awesome Kyle Lewis. Uh, it's a standard, uh, pair, a standard uh, relic, but to me, as a Kyle Lewis PC guy, it was pretty awesome to get that. And then we did get Ian Anderson for the uh, Mar uh, Marlins, Atlanta. Wow. Um, you see my channel before, you know that I think that Ian Anderson has a very strong chance of being very uh, like Jacob Degrom type. Yeah, and that's an insert right there. So there's pack number one. I'd say it's solid. Pack number two of Mosaic Baseball Blast Box. Let's go. You want a piece? <laughs> I got a little bit more to give you. Hold on. Josh Donaldson brought no rain last year. Jose Garcia, now known as Jose uh, Barrios. Uh, Barrio? Bur 
Barrio, yeah, uh, for the Reds. He changed his name. His mom died of COVID. Any of the newer top stuff, you'll see that name change is uh, correct. But yeah, that's he's a good one. Then we do have a Pete Alonzo with a green mosaic. Actually, that's, uh, that's a little bit more than a green right there. Of launched. So, uh, I mean, that's, I throw Pete in the hit pile. And then we do have a uh, Bryce Harper going into the PC with Big Fly. So we're getting, obviously we're getting a lot of cards that I am, I'm liking this. It's just an unlicensed thing that really throws people off. So pack number three of Mosaic Blaster Boxes go. Comparison, rip, let's do it. We have Sandy Alcantara going into the commons. We have Mookie Betts going into the PC. We have a Paul Goldschmidt with the big fly. I like Paul, he just does no hobby love at all whatsoever. So he's gonna just go into the good old fashioned insert parallel pile. Yeah, and I'll put obviously below what the deal is. And producers, not the play, but the card. Raphael Devers, uh, Bots, Boston Red Sox, dude had a hell of a season. He's gonna have another hell of a season too. They're gonna make a couple signings and they're gonna make, they're gonna put some bats around him. Um, yeah, he's, yeah, I like him. Going in the PC pile. We have four packs left of the Blaster Box. Pack number four. Four packs. So we've done okay here on the Blaster, but not a lot of rookies right now. So Nomar Mazzara for Detroit. Braxton Garrett, rookie card for the Marlins. Woohoo. We have Madison Bumgarner. That's our silver. I'm only going to show it to you because it's a silver, but Madison is no longer a big deal. And really, yeah, it's. Technically, it's a friggin' PC hit. Pack number five. Mosaic Baseball, let's go. You thought by now they would have taken Trevor Bauer out of these damn things. Joey Votto going into the commons. Jazz Chisholm, there we go. Nice rookie base hit right there. I, Jazz had an awesome year. And then we have Al Kaline with the mosaic. Um. I, I don't care when they, really, really don't care for when they do this, when they put the uh, vintage players, uh, some of the old time greats. I just don't, maybe it's, maybe you do. I'm just not a fan of it because it's just a waste of a card that you're just gonna, nobody wants this. You only want stars and top and rookies in this. I lessen my odds. Al Kaline, great player. It's, you know, Hall of Famer, but still. And a will to win for Clayton going into the PC and we'll see if he maintains uh, a residency here in Los Angeles. I hope he does. Pack number six, Mosaic Blaster. I mean, the only other team I can see him going to would be the Rangers, just because it's home. All right, pack number six, let's go. Good Jesus. Open. All right, Chris Sale going into the PC. Bo Bichette going into the Ritz. Marcus Simeon just signed a nice fat contract with the Rangers. I still don't know the numbers behind it because I'm shooting this and I just saw he signed, but yeah, looks like he's gonna have a solid season now. Um, he's gonna hit the crap out of the ball there. And Mountcastle with the orange rookie debut. Now, I don't know if this is a color match or if this is what they're doing with all their cards this year. Obviously, I think it is a color match because every player I've been getting has been color of their team, but Mountcastle with the debuts. And last pack before we get to the bonus pack of the Blaster Box Ripping Packs. Let's go. All right, Jose Barrios, not the Jose Barrios I was talking about. He's down with the Blue Jays, going into the Commons. Daniel Lynch, rookie card for the Royals, going into, well, that the rookie pal. Daz Cameron with the green mosaic for the Tigers, son of Mike Cameron, who is a former major leader who I like watching play a lot. Daz Cameron, rookie pal. And Wade Boggs, Vintage, with Boston. That is gonna go into my PC pile. So right now, we still have our bonus pack, but I will say the Blaster Box was a lot of meh. Not, not happy for that one, but let's go. A little bonus pack though, maybe you'll right the ship. Got a lot of nice blue here. We have a color match here with Jacob DeGrom. That's a really nice looking blue right there. Jacob DeGrom going into the hits. And what are you doing there? Max Freed, who I, okay, these are almost like a camo blue if you look at the, uh, there's a little bit of a, yeah. Max Freed, I like Max, he's gonna go into the inserts, but I shot a video of him in high school, um, Har pitcher for Harvard Westlake. I've said it a thousand times, but him and Lucas Giolito and Jack Flaherty, that was their staff. That'd be a pretty good staff in the major leagues right now. Yeah, going into the parallel. 
Tyler Glass now with Tampa, who is now, um, oh no, he's still there. He's still there. It's the other guy who just got traded. Um, I can't remember his name right now. Brett Honeywell, he just got traded the A's. So Tyler Glass now going into, well, the parallels. And Jake Cronworth, rookie card, 28 year old rookie for the San Diego Padres. Going into the rookie pile. Blaster Box was not, it was not much of a thing. So this is gonna be a beast. <coughs> Pick this up at Walmart. Sorry about the cough, I'm getting over a cold. Um, $49.95, 96 total cards. We have eight uh, packs, right? Eight packs, eight, 10 packs of eight cards, one autograph in here, and two bonus packs of eight cards. So we got a crap ton of cards here. For $49.95, I mean, this might be the way to go. You have eight yellow mosaics and eight mosaic red reactives. You're gonna find two silvers and two mosaic parallels in here, and the question is, are they gonna be any good? Um, and uh, yeah, we got the whole breakdown here, which I'll go ahead and post below what you can get in here. You can get some numbered stuff. You can get 99 to 10s. Have I gotten any? Now, granted, I'm not being super thorough. I will when I post production, when I do post on this and edit. So we'll find out then. But, you know, we're gonna find out if this is gonna be the best bargain. Again, $49.95 at Target. Are you ready? Good. Ribbon packs, three, Two, one, let's rip this mega box. Let's go. Okay, and all right, overhead camera, activate. Okay, try not to get all this on my cards here. Jesus, okay, so here we go. We have packs upon packs. There's our box, let's put you right here. We have two bonus packs right next to each other on the other side. So here are 10 packs of eight cards. Let's just go for our first five. There's our first five uh, packs right there of the Mega Box. Ripping packs, pack number one. We're gonna see a lot of base in this, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, ripping packs. If I see an auto, I'm putting it to the side. Well, hopefully I see, uh, I'll be able to pull it before, uh, notice it before anyway. Marco Gonzalez going into the commons. Zach Gallon going into the commons. Willie Stargell going into the old man hip hop, which is gonna be the parallels and inserts. We have Mike Trout there for the angels. That's what it looks like. And that's gonna go into the hits because he's Mike friggin' Trout. Uh, Ramiel Tapi uh, Tapia for the Rockies. We have Debbie Garcia, rookie card for the Yankees. Going in the rookie pile. Ha Song Kim, I got your mosaic, now I got your base. Either way, I don't care. And we have a green of aces, Aaron Nola going into the inserts and parallel pile. So yeah, man, whole lot of meh. Pack number two, what you gonna do when I open you? Yeah, I say that, so what? Let's go open back. Bryce going into the PC pile, good old Bryce Hopper, MVP for the National League. Clayton, well, going into the PC pile, and I might as well show you right there because he's going to go into the PC pile. Brad Keller for the Royals. George Springer for the Blue Jays. Anderson Tejada, who uh, do we got our oh, we got our autograph here? So put you over here to the side. Oh, wrong pack. Pack number three of Mosaic. Back up box. Let's go. Okay. Denilson Lament, right? Yeah, we yep. For the Padres, he had a he, he's a good one, but he had a bad he was injured all year. Kristen Yelich, who I do throw into the hip pile because he's gonna come back. Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. William Contreras, the rookie catcher for the Braves. I think he's gonna get his chance to finally do something because they didn't uh, they lost uh, what's his butt uh, in free agency. Can't remember. Uh, then Alex, really, Aroid, put him in here. All-time greats. Well, then we'll see how great he would have been if he didn't take rights. Yes, I'm judgmental there. Luis Garcia, rookie card for the Washington Nationals. He's a solid rookie, so, and he's young still. Frankie Lindor with the mosaic silver. Yay, of all the guys to get. And Christian Pache with the rookie debuts there for the uh, Braves. And I still think he, don't, don't give up on him. I think he's still gonna have a solid career. Christian Pache. The reason I'm Frankie that I'm so eh about is because the dude, I don't know, he just doesn't have a lot of hobby love and then getting traded in New York and he just, I don't say crap the bed, it's tough playing in New York. 
And I just, I don't know, there's just something about him, I just don't care. But I keep pulling good cards if it pisses me off. Pack number four, Mosaic. Let's go. Mega Box. That's what I opening here, a Mega Box. We have Roberto Alomar going into the old man pile, which is inserts and parallels. Isaiah Kenner Falafel for the Rangers. Heimer Candelario for the Tigers. James Karnacek for the Indians. Sean Murphy for the A's. Yerman Mercedes, old guy rookie for the White Sox. The question is, will he get a chance to do anything next year? Because he started hot last year and then he just kind of, yeah. Tucker Davidson, rookie for the Braves. And the last card is going to be Brian Reynolds with the will to win mosaic for the Pirates. Yeah, my uh, parallels are just setting the world on fire right now. Yeah. Pack number five. I think we got our auto over here. We'll find out soon. Rip Max. We got Buster Posey. Is he going to be in the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. He had a great career, but there's other catchers who had much better careers in their life, and they're not in there. He had a good career. Winning is what got him, what is what made him as great as he did, and the Giants were great when he played. Vladdy going into the hits, and I'll show it to you because he was runner for the MVP, and the guy would have won if it wasn't for Shohei. Had an awesome season. Dustin May going into the PC. He'll come back next year solid. Alberto Montesi. Jonathan India with the mosaic with the rookie card. Going into the rookie pile, the rookie of the year for the National League. I've said it before, not a knock on him. He gives me that Whitmer, uh, Whitmerfield vibes. And that's a good thing, just not so much for the hobby. Mickey Moniak for the Phillies. Obviously, this is a older picture of Mickey because he did not have the long hair and it doesn't look like he's tatted up there, but former number one overall pick and uh, the reason he was number one overall is the Phillies could sign him. That was the reason he went number one overall because there was a lot of better guys that they're after. But anyway, Mickey Moniak, rookie card. Then Luis Severino with a mosaic parallel. Whoa. And Tom Seaver with the will to win with the aces parallel white maybe it's a big deal i don't know all right pack number six of mosaic mega box let's go i mean you're gonna get a ton of cards in this rowdy telez now with the brewers roman law or romo loriano with the a's Captain Biggio, this pack's looking for, well, not anymore, Mike Soraka for the Braves. Joey Bart, rookie card for the Giants, going into the rookie pile. Jared Oliva, well, well, another rookie at least, <laughs> for the Pirates. Then we do have a mosaic of Justice Sheffield for the Mariners, going into the mosaic pile. And Jordan with Big Fly, insert. He had a solid season, all-star type. Well, all, there were a handful of Astros who were all-star types. They just didn't go. But yeah, he showed why he deserved to be a good player, if you will. All right, pack number seven. Ripping packs, let's go. Comparison, right now, hanger. I know, hanger. Framer Valdez for Houston. Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Jacob DeGrom with a crap ton of yeah, a bunch of, will that come off? Well, I don't know. I'm just going to show it to you because maybe you'll see all the print issues on there. Uh, yeah, going into the hits because he's DeGrom and I like DeGrom, but still. Uh, Carlos Correa. Kyle Seager is a free agent. Ichiro, all-time greats. I like Ichiro, but yeah. Better, he's an all-time great to, than A-Rod, in my opinion, but he's just a great hitter. Then Nick Madrigal with the rookie card for Chicago, now with the Cubs, but it says Chicago, so it's not a lie. He was White Sox, traded in the Craig Kimbrell deal. Second baseman, former Oregon Stater, and Ryan Mountcastle with the Mosaic. Okay, that's a nice one. I like that one a lot. It's, uh, that's a solid uh, solid version of a Mosaic. Here we're down to three packs left of our base. Pack number eight. Let's go with the packs. Sandy Alcantara. Joey Votto, Willie Castro for Detroit, Didi Gregorius for the Phillies, Sixto I already showed you for the Marlins, Bobby Dingers going into the PC pile I already showed you, Mike Piazza with the silver, all-time greats there with the Mets. Um, again, this is one of those things where I'm like, if you're going to give me a silver, why does it have to be a guy like this? It's not a knock on Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza's a Hall of Famer. It's just I don't want, I don't know about you guys, I don't want my silvers in this. Yeah, former Dodger, and he doesn't want people to know he's a Dodger. And will to win, Lou Boudreau. For the uh, then, I want to say, is that Indians? Yeah, Cleveland, back in the day. Cleveland Indians, Will Boudreau. Lou Boudreau. Pack number nine of Mosaic. 
mega box. Let's go with Max comparison. Chris Sale going into the PC. Ozzy Albies going into the comments. He needs a good player. Trey Turner now with the Dodgers. Nick Castellanos, he's going to be a free agent. He should get a fat contract with the Reds. Brandon Crawford with the Giants. Taylor Trammell for the Mariners with the base rookie right there. He's going to end up being a quality fourth outfielder. We have a junior with the all-time greats. Why couldn't I get a junior silver? I mean, yeah, I PC the guy, so come on. Why couldn't I get him? And Justin Verlander going into the hits, and the only reason I say is because he's going to be a Hall of Famer, and I throw guys like this into the hits because why bother grabbing them down the road with the Aces parallel? All right, last pack, and then our bonus packs, and then probably our autograph. Pack number 10. Mega box. Let's go with Max. We have a roll list. Chapman for the Yankees. Justin Sheffield, I just pulled a better car to you. Marcel Azuna, well, you're a piece of trash. Tanner Houck, rookie card for the Red Sox going into the PC pal because he's a Bostoner. We have Leo Di Tavares. Um, they let go of Anderson to Hada. They kept him, so it'll be interesting to see because were, they were the two rookies you always got confused about when you pulled cards this year for the Rangers. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does. He's an outfielder. He's scrappy. We have Ian Anderson. You already heard my spiel on Ian, who I think is solid. And vintage with Sandy Koufax going into the PC pile. Good old Sandy Koufax. Hall of Famer. All right, pack number one of the bonus pack. I don't know what's in here. Base cards, inserts, I don't know. We'll find out now. Ribbon packs. Oh, it's the Reds. The Reds. We have Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers. He had a solid season going into, well, this is just gonna be a red pile. I'm just gonna make it together right here. Red pile, move you over here. Red pile. Kyle Lewis going into the PC. So, okay, that's nice. I can live with Kyle right there. Kyle going into the PC pile because I like Kyle Lewis. Again, I PC the dude, so there. Tim Anderson, who I like, Tim. I think he's a great player. Going into, well, the baseball right now. George Springer for the, what am I, I'm not showing you these. George Springer, there's Tim Anderson. Because you're not gonna see these unless you actually get the Megas. The other stuff doesn't matter. Pablo Lopez for uh, the Marlins there, Miami Marlins. Then Heimer Candelario for the Tigers. We have a nice, that's a not a color match, but it's uh, one I do like. Another junior right there with the all-time greats with the, if you get them in this, that's fine. But if you're only getting a handful of silvers and mosaics and stuff like that, yeah, no. And another Tanner Houck going into the PC pile right over here. Sorry, Junior, you're in the wrong pile. All right, our last bonus pack and then maybe our autograph. Let's go. Bonus pack. More red shimmer, more red explosion, more red whatever. With the packs, we'll find out right now. Oh, yellow, it's the gold. Ozzy Albies with the yellow right there going into, well, this red pile. Well, no, make its own. Trey Turner for then the Nationals, but we all know the Dodgers now and probably the starting shortstop because Corey Seager is going to sign a fat contract somewhere. A roll this Chapman for the Yankees. The only color match this is going to have is if we get a Cabrian, which I'd love. Shogo Akiyama for the uh, Cincinnati Ball Club. Alex Verdugo going into PC with the Sox, the Red Sox that is. Willie Castro with the Tigers, the Detroit Tigers. Jorge Mateo with the Padres, so technically that would be a color match. Um, not a big deal there because he's Jorge Mateo. And Ryan Jeffers. So those two packs outside of the junior were, those bonus packs sucked. They were awful. All right, so now it's time for our autograph. Let's go, okay, we'll go to the back here. Frank Thomas with a launched, that is a Frank Thomas launched parallel going into the old man parallel pile. We already pulled the Anderson Hatata, but I'll show it to you again real quick. We have Anderson Hatata right there for the Rangers and Jake Cronworth for the Padres with the mosaic base. Now it's time for our autograph. CR, it's mosaic, rookie, it's rookie, it's a rookie. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Clark Schmidt, everybody, Clark Schmidt. Hands, hands for everybody. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. Yeah, nice little initials there. CS with the, um, with the sticker auto for Clark Schmidt. 
yeah. Um, I got one auto. There's guaranteed an auto. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. So, yeah. I would have taken Tanner Houck, because at least it's a PC hit. A Yankee. If you're going to give me a Yankee, give me somebody. I'll take Esteban Floreal. I'll take, uh, not Clark Schmidt, guys. Come on, Jesus. Okay, so it's time to really break this down. Hanger box, 100%. Hanger box. The mosaic, yes. You get a crap ton of base. And you got a good amount of rookies there. But, I mean, when it's all said and done, oh, man, for 50 bucks. And I did, this is the Target, the Target version. I do have the, uh, the uh, Walmart version. And it did not have the bonus packs. And that was $50 as well. It did have the autograph. So maybe it's a better autograph. I don't know. Um, I'd show you the hits real quick. But let's just go to the rookies. The rookies in the cello, we only got Evan White. It's Tyler Stevenson, Dean Kramer, Trevor Larnick. So our rookies were a bunch of meh. Um, don't get me wrong. It's not that they're awful, but our hanger, we got a double Jesus Sanchez. We got the mosaic uh, debut for Ian Anderson, Cabrian, Orange Sixto, Kohei Who Cares. And uh, we got the silver Jesus and the Alex Kirloff. So we did better on the hanger there. Our blaster box, we got the blue Jake Cronworth. We got the Ryan Mountcastle base uh, for the debut, Jazz Chisholm, and Ian Anderson debut. I didn't pull any Dylan Carlson, who is a guy who is a guy I PC. I did pull a bunch out of Chronicles, though. For the Mega Box, the rookies, we got Cronworth, Tejada, um, Ian Anderson, Sixto. We did get a nice mosaic uh, Mountcastle there. Madrigal, Joey Bart, Jonathan India, um, Christian Pache, Garcia. Yeah, I mean, this was just a lot of, yeah, a lot of fluff. I'm going to be honest with you. This was just a lot of friggin' fluff. Not overall impressed with this. Um, so just my, this is me as a collector. If you had to choose between Mosaic and Chronicles, Chronicles hands down. Hands down Chronicles. If you had to choose. If you're like, I need to rip something. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting, you're going. Mosaic plays in that prism optic world in the sense that you get cards for everybody. But I mean, I didn't get a Kelnick, and Kelnick's the flavor of the month right now. And yeah, I, I'm kind of pissed about this rip. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of pissed about it. I know my buddy Mitch came over a couple weeks ago and we opened a blaster here at the house just he was hanging out. And it was just a lot of, not of nothing. This blaster was kind of just a lot of nothing. And again, for what you are paying for, you, the viewer, if you're paying 50 bucks for this mega, 30 bucks for this blaster or war at Walmart, 22, 23 for the hanger, 12, 15 bucks for the cello, you deserve more. Honestly, if you're gonna do that, drop your money on Topps Update. Drop your money on something fun. Was this fun? I mean, it, the cards look good, but I mean, I gotta say, I'm overall, I'm not too impressed. I will say with Mosaic for baseball, just don't bother. Seriously, don't bother. Stick to Chronicles if you wanna buy non-licensed that's available out there. You're gonna have more fun with that. The autograph, I mean, I to be honest with you, I did not look at the checklist for what the possible autographs are. Um, I kind of go, I kind of wing it on this, just like a lot of people would do when they buy stuff at retail level. I'm like, whoa, what would be fun? This would be a fun rip. I pulled some okay rookies. I didn't pull any bangers. I pulled the India. I pulled a couple decent, you know, a couple little things here and there. A couple PC hits. I mean, the hit pile in general was not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah. So... That's just my opinion as a collector. Don't call me a ripper. I mean, I am a ripper, but don't call me a breaker because I'm not that. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I would not buy it again. I would buy Chronicles hands down before I bought this. If you're gonna spend the money, like I said, you have a Topps update is very readily available out there and it's gonna retain more value in the end than this probably. Yes, these are nice cards. They have that chromium thick quality to them and there's a nice futuristic design to them, but in the end they're just it's not. I wouldn't waste I wouldn't waste my money on this. I wouldn't waste my time on it anymore if I was you. If I was me, I got a box of each and guess what? Those are going to sit unopened.
they're just gonna sit and maybe something in here pans out and then it'll be like, ooh, I can make, I can sell it for $55. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, uh, this rip, <laughs> this comparison rip. Hanger, Mega, Cello, Blaster. Stay away from blasters. That's my word of advice. Stay away from the blasters. You're just putting too much money into it. At least you're getting an auto with the Mosa with the uh, with the with the Mega Box. So there. Thank you for watching Rip and Packs on this Monday. Uh, yeah, you could do that. And when you're done doing that, you could do that. And notification bell. Leave a comment. Have you ripped open Mosaic baseball? Not football or basketball because the products on those are pretty solid. And when I say solid, meaning you still get some good stuff. With baseball. Baseball is the type of thing where you want to have fun or you want it to at least retain some sort of value. And this, for the price, is not worth it. I think I've expressed my opinion clearly. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. Come back. I might be doing a quick little uh, uh, new release rip, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and guess what? Another Panini's product. Yeah, a Panini Contenders. If that shows up, a friend of mine um, got, me, got me a blaster box or two. We'll see if we open those. Um, if not, Wednesday, I might be doing some football. Might go kaboom hunting. We'll see what happens there. So anyway, thank you again, and I will see you definitely on Wednesday. Take care.